today we have to worry it's spring and spring brings along lots of ticks. Everybody has a story about a tick, whether you pulled it off your own pet or off a person in your family, and ticks usually make us crawl. They're kind of disgusting little creatures. But what's worrisome about them is they do carry a lot of diseases. The most common one that we know about is Lyme disease. Um, however, there are other diseases that can infect, infect our pets. And so keeping them protected is our number one priority. Your doctor oftentimes will talk to you about different types of protectives you can use on your pet in order to make sure that the ticks are not able to stay attached for very long. Remember, ticks live through different life stages. The ones that you find on your dogs are usually the adults. Most commonly, the females that get bloated and kind of grayish tan color, those that are attached for up to five days before they are done feeding will fall off your dog and go lay babies. But the ones that you miss are the life stages. The itty bitty babies will feed on the ground dwellers in your yard, your chipmunks, the mice, maybe even squirrels. The next life stage will feed on your pets. Sometimes even the wild animals, your squirrels, sometimes turkeys, small mammals like rabbits. And the adult ticks really prefer deer or some of the larger animals, you and your ticks, your dogs and cats as well. The problem is, is that any of those life stages can transmit disease and can do so within 24 hours. They'll stay on for 24 hours and then fall off and you may never know they were there. Some of the products in the market that have been there for a very long time, such as, such as Frontline or Canine Advantix, they have a long safety history. They've been out for decades. However, they don't work consistently from day one of the month to day 30. So most of us notice a lot of tick attachment toward the end of the month. For that reason, they've kind of fallen out of favor with most of, our, most of the veterinary community. There's a collar called the Ceresto collar that works just like your frontline and your canine Advantix, except instead of a monthly dose on the back of the neck of the dog, it comes out of that collar and treats your dog from head to toe. Now, all of those three products contain an insecticide, something to kill the insect, and then a pesticide. And this is where people get worried. Pesticides are available in many over-the-counter products. You use them when you treat for wasps or ants in your home. You use them to keep pests off your garden vegetables. But the ones that are in the pet products have been tested at the level they're used on your animal and at higher levels to make sure they're safe if your animal accidentally gets too much. You will read stories about these products not being safe. And the one that's out there right now is about the Ceresto collar and about deaths that may have occurred related to the collar. The EPA's job is to collect consumer concerns or reports. You can report a product may have caused your pet harm anywhere from the day you applied it to six months later. And it's the EPA's job to figure out whether or not that event is actually related to the product. Those deaths that were reported are happening within a time frame that is very variable. With the pyrethrins, permethrins, these pesticides in these products, we actually know what to expect. We also tend to have a very limited period of time after you put the product on your pet to when you'll see symptoms. So a lot of these deaths that may have happened months later, we really have to determine if there's a cause and an effect. For that reason, I continue to recommend using this Resto Collar because it's a great product. The other products that are on the market are these newer chewable products that your dog takes once a month. These are the ones that I like the best because you're not putting a pesticide on your animal. You're using something inside your dog's body that can kill those ticks for the entire month. They've actually been shown to be highly effective for those four weeks. And we're finding very few ticks on our dogs and we're actually finding a lot less tick transmitted diseases. Um, so these are also have a warning on the label. If your dog has a seizure disorder, a known seizure activity disorder like epilepsy, you do not want to use these products. They have one of the four on the market was shown to potentially induce seizures, so we try to avoid them. However, if your dog is otherwise healthy, they're very safe. I actually use them in my own dog. I hope you found this helpful. Please talk to your veterinarian about which product is best for your pet.